Nissan GTR valet mode. Can provide reduced engine power mode for valet parking or when other drivers are using the car. It's a torque limit based against time and distance. It can be used as an anti-theft feature and you can use a pin code configuration and you can enter the pin using the digital coolant temperature gauge showing the current pin. Okay, so we go back, we go to Ecutech Race 1 Maps. Ecutech Race 1 Valet Mode. So we have a few options. This is a secret back door code that if you've forgotten your pin that you can always get back in. This is something that tuner will tend to set up so if you get into trouble you can always get out of trouble again. Um, to use valet, no, valet mode you have to enable it. You can also take the uh, pin configuration where you have to enter a pin by the coolant temperature gauge. You can take that away and take all pins as correct. And you can also prevent, as you can see in here, prevent map switching while you're in valet mode. Now, um, to activate valet mode, this is shown in the uh, GTR help, help files and the tuning manual, you go to the valet section, it's in, in detail. It's not a feature I use very often myself, in fact we never use it in the UK, but it's been written for the American market and it's certainly very well received. Um, the, to turn on the valet mode, the sequence is you pull up, you put your handbrake on, vehicle stationary, you turn the cruise control on, and your driver display is going to be showing the um, coolant temp gauge. If you hold the cruise control for one second, the coolant gauge changes and the cruise light, um, cruise set light starts to flash slowly. Use the cruise control switch up and down and choose the pin number on the coolant temperature gauge. Pushing cancel again as engaged valet mode. So you've got a, um, a distance um, against um, distance travelled and the maximum speed you're allowed to achieve. So you can only do 80 in this particular setup, 80 kilometres an hour. This is how fast you can see after five kilometers an hour, it's going to reduce the maximum allowed vehicle speed to five kilometers an hour. So this is kind of anti-theft setup. So if you don't want anybody going very far in your car, this is where we set it up. And the torque limiter is the maximum allowed torque. So um, again, against distance, you can do a similar thing where you can just reduce torque further and further. And if anybody doing a great distance in your car, the car will just slow down and stop. If you put the wrong code in to enable or, or take the car back out of valet mode, it will give you three attempts. And if you fail the third attempt, it will make you wait five minutes before you can try it again. So it stops people trying lots of different codes and finally getting around it, basically. If you want to turn the valet off, reverse sequence, it's handbrake on, stop the vehicle, handbrake on, um, cruise control on, um, the driver display, Showing the coolant gauge, you hold the cancel button, cruise control cancel button for one second, coolant gauge changes, the cruise control set light starts to flash, you use the cruise control up and down button to enter the correct pin on the coolant gauge, you push the cancel button again to validate the code, the coolant gauge will go three stars for the correct code or it will go red into the red if you put the wrong code in.